In this video, I will explain how to select time series model. Case number one. If you have all the series are I0, meaning that all series are stationary at level. When I say stationary, it means a time series is having constant mean, variance, covariance across time. If this is the case, then you apply OLS go for regression analysis and if you think there are multiple endogenous variable in your model meaning that independent variable can become dependent variable and it can create many equations then you apply var model vector autoregressive case number two if all the series are integrator of the same order i1 meaning that if a non-stationary is become stationary at first difference, then you apply Johansson co-integration to investigate the long-term relationship and apply the error correction model to see the short-term dynamics of the relationship between variables. When you apply Johansson co-integration, if there is co-integration equation exist, then you estimate OLS or vector error correction model at level. And if there is no co-integration equation, then you estimate OLS or VAR at first difference. Why I am saying to estimate OLS or VAR at first difference? Because in this scenario, non-stationary time series becomes stationary at first difference. Keep in mind, there are two types of co-integration. One is angle Granger co-integration and second one is Johansson co-integration. Angle Granger co-integration has limitation. It is used only for one co-integrating equation. If you think there could be multiple co-integrating equations in your case, then go for Johansson co-integration. Case three, if you have mixture of I0 and I1, then go for autoregressive distributed lag model, ARDL. You have to check co-integration if co-integration equation exists, estimate ARDL. If there is no co-integration, then estimate OLS or VAR. But when you estimate OLS or VAR, you should take first difference of all those time series that are not stationary at level. Here I have explained three scenarios of selecting time series model. I will explain the remaining time series model in other video. I hope you get the idea how to select time series model. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.